Okay, everybody, so today we're going to be doing something that I really normally ever, ever don't do on my channel, which is colored hair or even coloring hair. I don't like this because it's very messy. However, it's fun and it's a good outcome at the end. So if you guys wanna see how I'm going to color this hair, most importantly, the frontal without staining the lace, make sure you stay tuned. <laughs> So no, I'm not a chemist. No, I'm not a colorist. I'm not any of that. However, over the past few years of experiencing with hair color, the water method is way easier for me and it's less of a mess and it's quicker. So what I did was just mix those colors together. Um, I had got Orange Blaze and Sunrise Orange, I believe. I'm not too sure the names, but I got two different oranges and one bottle of red and i put just a tad bit of the red in but as you can see what i'm doing with this brush i'm dipping the frontal in but you know on the roots i'm taking the brush and dipping it in the water and just going in and just combing the hair combing the color over the hair i'm doing this because i don't really want the lace to get stained and i don't really want the color to be as pigmented in the roots as it will be at the tips. I really really love this adhesive because it smooths on like no other like it smooths down really really good it smooths over the skin over the cap and everything really really easily really really smoothly and it cures very very fast when I say cure that mean it you know when you when you apply one layer when it's time for you to apply another layer it it turns clear really fast and I really really love that and it sticks and holds really really good and I believe that you guys should try this out and very soon I'm going to be doing a waterproof test with this adhesive but it's cold where I live so I haven't really been in any water or trying to visit any places with water but very soon I'm going to be doing that because during the spring and summer months that is going to be very very important however for the time being, we're going to be focusing on this bomb color that I achieved today. And if you follow these steps and you get these same exact colors, you can do the exact same thing. One thing that I will tell you is with color hair, you have to make sure you condition and keep the hair moisturized. I try to stay away from color hair because it's very very tricky but this is coming out really really cute so far the lace is really blending in with her skin and shout out to y'all for sending me this bomb hair and this bomb lace like What I really, 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 really loved about coloring this hair is that I didn't have to go over it so many times to get the color to stick because there's some hair, you know, some blonde hair that I've worked with before and I would have to literally try to color the hair multiple times just for the color to stick. And today I'm gonna to be doing a quick weave, AKA a bond in and yeah so you're gonna braid the hair going straight back as you normally would and i'm just taking some holding spray and spraying it on there just so that when i do apply the adhesive the bonding glue 
it will stick way easier and not fall off and come out and everything. And with their bonding process, you're just literally going to go from side to side, side to side. Side to side, side to side. Side to side, side to side. I'm just taking some of the fluff stuff styling foam and combing it over some of the parts of the hair so it can lay down flat and now I'm taking the C Lux extension silkening mist and spraying it over the hair before I start to flat iron this hair. I'm sure you can see the difference in what the silken Amos does. I really, really love it and it smells so bomb. I really will appreciate it if you guys go and purchase this product. I love it so much and I know you guys are going to love it. And if you love having cosmetics that smell really good, you're going to love all of these products that I've been using in this video so far. And we're going to be going for a blunt cut today. And a blunt cut is really, really easy to do. It can also be very tricky, but I do have a video on my channel showing you this exact same style. And I'm pretty sure it's about the same length as well. And right now I'm taking some of the C Lux Extensions Silkening Serum. And before I begin to flat iron her hair and bump it to where the blunt cut starts to show and I just put the finishing touches on this install I'm going to put the silkening serum just so the hair can have movement and just so it can have um you know shine without it being too heavy You just want to take your flat iron and just go over the hair and lightly bump it towards the ends. It's a really, really easy style to do and really simple and really cute. And even at home, your client can be able to keep this hairstyle up with no issues and no problems whatsoever. And this about sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'm not too big of a fan of color installs, but this came out really cute. And I hope to see you guys next time on my video. Make sure you subscribe and see you later. Check out my other videos.